So, even if dark stars existed, they wouldn't emit light like the stars we see in the night sky. Instead, they might glow faintly, powered by the annihilation of dark matter particles inside them. Detecting that kind of signal is a real scientific headache. But scientists have a few clever ideas. Theorists believe that right after the Big Bang, clouds of hydrogen and helium, mixed with dark matter, could have collapsed to form the first stars. If enough dark matter gathered at the center, its energy might have delayed the usual fusion process, letting these stars grow huge, thousands of times more massive than our Sun. Some models predict they could have lived longer than typical early stars, and when they finally died, they might have seeded the universe with heavy elements, or even created supermassive black holes. That would seriously shake up what I thought I knew about how galaxies evolved. Now, here's where it gets wild. Recent theories suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope could spot clues of these ancient giants. If we see extra bright, supermassive stars in the early universe, it 